Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia and I have been doing some bits and pieces. So I'm just going to show you what I have been working on other than what I, you know, other than the videos that I put up. Because this morning I decided that I was going to go and play with the skin and cut. That is a cutting out machine thingy that you buy if you, well my husband bought it for me about three or four, three years ago, maybe four years ago. So I've been in there madly cutting out bits and pieces, okay, um, which I could do with my big shot, only this doesn't take nowhere near as long and did and I have some amazing fun doing that. Look what I've done. And actually I've got ideas from what I've done, you know, so I've got a whole heap of these that I've been cutting out. Um, paper. Now I want you, if somebody can tell me where I can get this, I'd be absolutely wrapped. I have bought this paper from Target in Australia and it was called a textured cardstock and it's not got white in the inside and I love it. It works so good in my skin and cut and like besides having the outside I've got these little squares as well for that. See the other one that has a white core centre is you can see the white in it and it's not a big fan of cutting out um, the, the skin and cut works with it but this is white too inside as well see but anyway so I've cut all these little bits here oh dear anyhow that was fun I had a lovely time because these are going to have little little brads in them because I seen um, uh, Nick the Bush the booksmith make these things she probably didn't use I don't know how she cut hers I think she showed us well I mean I, I imagine that it wouldn't be that hard but then you seen me the other day trying to do this one that I put around my serviette a doily thing Where, where's that at here <laughs> remember you see me trying to cut that this out to, to be the right shape well um you can do it, of course, and then all you do is press your little holes in there, but some you got really lazy because I thought I might use a few instead of just having one. I'm going to press a couple together, and my hands are not really into doing it too much, and I've got to get something to put on one of them anyway, so it'll give it a bit of a rest, but anyhow, so I've cut out some of those, and I've got these here, these frames. <coughs> And I cut some of these. These are really nice. See, this is with that same stuff, and it's really nice paper. For a whole heap of sheets, only cost twelve dollars. Anybody got some of that at their target? I bought it a long time ago, though. And our target hasn't got anything nice. You know, I'll pull that off. I didn't cut right through far enough, but it's okay. It does it does a good job, you know. Now I haven't figured out yet what I'm going to do with these houses, but I've cut out some little houses shapes and I've got I've got the this one here's got but it pulls off the back bit of the paper only only in some circumstances it doesn't do it all the time so I've got a fair few little houses and I bought I got the pink roofs to go with the blue house you know where's the blue house there's the blue house did I get a blue house must have done yep there's the roof here's the roof and it has blue and these windows aren't cut right through properly. And, oh, that one did. But it would be cool just to leave them on there if you wanted to. But I don't think I will because it, it just depends, you know. But see, that's going to look really awesome, isn't it? I do love that. It's going to be a little tag or just a little tuck spot or something when I glue it together. These tags I'm not real keen on because the hole's too big. But I can cover that over with one of them ring things. And I don't know what was the matter with this, why it made a little choppy bit. But see, sometimes the paper, it doesn't like the, the, you know, the different sort of paper. So this one here cut really good. Well, it's not cut in the back. But you know what? It just falls off anyway. It's not like it's, you know, the end of the world. So I sat in there for quite some time doing this this morning. Oh, I've got some pink ones of these too. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? Love the colour. Got myself some circles. So I've got everything, <laughs> and I didn't even really look for it before. I thought I'd better come and show you what I've been doing. Look at these; these are going to look awesome too, with the with the brads in the end. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm I feel really bad because other people might not be able to get these. Um, you know, 
if um, I get around to it, I suppose I could put some in me Etsy, but you know, there's nothing to charge, you can't charge nothing for them, really, there's just pieces of paper cut out, but if it's too hard for people to do, <clears throat> but anyway, we'll just put these away, <laughs> and then I can play with them, um, a bit later on, and see what I want to do with them, but I'm, I think I've got, I think I've got ideas, I think I've got ideas, um, so what I can do with these. I'm fitting back in the bag, I don't think they're going to go. But anyway, we'll have a try. We'll fit, we'll fit. Now, and plus, I mean, there's so much more that I can do with it, but to get the things, the other bits and pieces to work with on this scan and cut, you can actually scan the things into it that you want to cut out. I've never been able to really cut out a piece of... Um, uh, <laughs> I haven't been able to work out how to do a, a, a thing like, a, excuse me, I'm in, <laughs> sorry, I must be sucking in too much air um, with me talking. I haven't been able to work out yet how to to do a, a picture because you have to make sure that you've got all the thicker lines, you know, because it, it cuts out any black line, any lines that are on it, any lines whatsoever. So if you're doing something... I don't know, so it's, oh, I can't, I can't explain myself, I'm just waffling on here, sorry about that. Um, you just can't sort of cut around the edge of something. What am I going to show you here, say, for example? You can't just cut around the edge of that to cut that out, because you've got to work, because, because of your thickness of your lines. So there's a way to do it, but I couldn't figure it, I haven't figured it out yet. It's a lot of, um... It's one of those books where you refer to page thingy and then you've got to come back to this page and then you go back up to page what's to get each process and it's the most complicated thing and annoying to me actually because I don't want to be playing around with it. I don't know why it doesn't say, well, this is how you do this and just tell you. I've watched some videos, I've watched videos on it, but that was in the past, like, and I'm not feeling like I want to do that just at this present time, you know. So anyway, so that was what I've been doing. Now, the mailman turned up to today and he had this for me. <laughs> oh, dear, this is so nice. Look at me paper. I got this paper. This looks a lot better in the real world, does on there, I must say, because there's a little line going through it. Look. This paper is absolutely beautiful. It feels a little bit bent a bit. It was in a plastic bag, but it got here to me. I think it cost me about three dollars something. But they're really pretty. Look, they've got two of each sheet. And the further you go, the nicer they get. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, I have to go back out again, won't I? Oh, sorry about that. We're too fast. And there's this one here. There's two of those and two of those. And I'm going to probably be hoarding this before I decide I want to look at that. Isn't that nice? And there's another one of those. Look at this one. Isn't this delicious? Oh, dear. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's not um, bad quality either. It feels really nice quality. You know, it's sort of... Yeah, it's really nice quality and really pretty. Not nowhere near as dark as that looks either, by the way, in the camera. Maybe it's just me, look what I'm looking at. Look at that one. Delicious. And then there's, look at, there's the colour of that one. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> this is one of my favourites. Look at that. Wow. Isn't it nice? I think I've got some ones before and the pages that they advertised, there's only a couple and they were only the nice ones. The rest were okay. But this one come back with everything absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really pleased about that. Didn't even count them. I might, there might be about 20 in there, is there? Anyway, so that was a really good thing that the postman bought me. So he was he was one of the populars then, wasn't he? Was he not very popular when he doesn't bring you what you want. Okay, so I, I was making one of these last night, but I'm not... I'm sure you have done all these before. And this is a, a sort of an envelope thing. It's not actually something you write in. Look. Because I wanted to use some of this paper that I've got in all these books. So I went through it and I've been just, you know, making one of those. Um, I did spend a lot of time over the weekend working on the um, storage thingy that I did. 
um, because it went from stamps to everything I own <laughs> nearly so this is my storage now okay so there's me and there's me butterflies right I'm gonna still go buy more don't worry about that and here is my um, because I'm thinking to myself I'm gonna be using different elements and that one's not in there probably I'm gonna be using different elements so I got the um, things out of the photo album and I cut them down and I stuck them on the back of this because this didn't have anything on the back so I stuck these on and I got the, therefore I got these pockets and I'm putting these down in here because these are stickers and bits that I've picked up and I can see them and this is same with the flowers I couldn't see me flowers before but now I can unless I ratted through for ages and all these here these are stickers and bits that I've picked up over at um, in China and so are these here look at this isn't this good if you want something and the color and everything you can just go through here and get it out and same with that these are all bits of um, these are clear ones and um, they're clear ones if you can see that and here's more of my flower stickers see and I'm going to get another packet and that'll uh, and that probably will be enough well I'd have got more things coming along in the post but I've got all these two here and I think this has inspired me to cut out the um, them shapes I have about five pages of stamps and I gave the rest to my daughter because I just didn't want any more um, but look you can just go through there and find one and use it you know can't you and I so put some of these that I cut out myself haven't done the back pages of these yet but all I'm doing is getting the pieces off the um, I don't think I've got them here I've, took them out. I've been doing this in the lounge room but I just made cut them down a bit and just sat, sat them in there and then put the things in that I wanted to put in them and so this is where I keep all my stamps and my pieces of fussy cutting some fussy cutting and and now it's more useful sort of thing I mean it was before but I feel now I can use because these butterflies I really like the ones on this pink card so I'm going to keep those when I look through these other ones that I got I wasn't really that impressed with those <laughs> see so I thought they looked good in a bundle and then when you go through and we'll see there's two I put them behind one another two if I wanted to keep them and you know if I would have kept them out and this is actually another packet of um, flowers because I still got more but I kept them over there so in the front of here so I can just if, when, you know, when I make a space I'll use them but that's what I did see and isn't that cool because you can see all the things that you've got and it sits down in there really nicely and I, I absolutely love it I think this idea is amazing <laughs> well whoever started it started something really cool because see how these are the bottoms of the pockets of the um, photo uh, photo things I just cut them out of the thing make sure I didn't cut the side and then cut them in half or whatever and then stuck these in like that and then all I did was slip down the things into there because before I had them in them other I had them in a small album and they're all piled into the one page and you couldn't see what you had see and this way you can see what you got I mean there's a few things in there but I can easy look and see because they're at different levels of what I've got in there can't I you know same with the flowers they're all in the thing and I couldn't see all them but now I can you know so I think this is really cool I do like it and um, I think it's a good idea so at the post office for twelve dollars you pack it and you get twelve of these which are um, and then buy yourself a, a what's the name if you want to do the backs like this but I thought it was because the po pocket's already done for you and you just cut the pocket down I, I don't mind making storage things but I'd rather get on with it <laughs> you know and do something a bit more um, exciting sort of thing okay so have I got something to show you how to make something now I don't know I'm trying to do the zipper up got the zipper done righto have I got a tutorial idea let me think now. I don't think I do, do I? I may have had something I did this morning when I first came in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, would I? Okay, righto. I might do. I did some of these yesterday. Oh, here's these. Now, wait a minute. 
now we find things. <laughs> right, so here was a, this is a photo frame that I hung the picture in that I showed you. I mean, I'll show you this. This is on the last video that we did, that tutorial on these. Okay. And this is what I used to put theirs in. Okay. Now you can use um, them too to, to put in the um, storage thing by just cutting down there, but you'd have to glue it or just poke it through from the side. Don't cut it, just sit it in the book. These come out of the ones that are long and they flip down like a waterfall and the other ones come out of a smaller one, okay? Now, um, the other thing that I used. <coughs> in here, I've got my pages that I glued together because I've glued lots of pages together to make something out of but then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't keep me interest for long. <laughs> oh, of course, too, when you take this out of here, the paper, you can use that. Oh, not a bad piece of paper either. Small piece of paper, but not bad. Where is it? Where is it? Get here. Come on. Oh, hubby's must be trying to fix the back door. He's going to get... Oh, the pussy cat gets out because we... I think when we had their washing machine delivered, they broke the, the thing that keeps the door... makes the door close in. You know, close down the screen one. And, um... He hasn't been around to get it. We haven't been able to get anything because we don't actually have, we don't have a hardware place in our town. It's on the outskirts of town. Well, you know where they put things now. Why I don't know. And both of us, oh, it's a fair way. Well, not a fair way, but I can't really go on my scooter because we're worried about going across the highway. Anyway, so now I've got these bits, and there's me from there and look at this I have blue music look at this I wonder what I'm going to do with it I don't really know to be honest I really don't know it's very thick so maybe it'll have to be a um, you know <laughs> a tag eh? I'll make a tag out of them I'm thinking about cutting it in half again I don't know you think so this one's not bad so I've got much on it. I don't want to really want to decorate a tag. Have you, you've seen everybody decorate a tag. I don't really want to do that. I was thinking about making a um, a thing that you flip out of your... Is that one? Or is this one? Maybe I need to start with the other bit first. Hang on a minute. I'm going to start with the... I've got a paper. Hang on. Here, wait a minute. Come here, you. I've got a piece of paper. Right. Then I need an envelope, a little envelope, that will look good. Must have something in. Oh, somebody at the door. Who is it? My husband will go out there, I hope. Excuse me. Jeremy? Jeremy? Oh, he's gone out there finally. Sorry about that. It might be Karen. Could be Donna. Could be Peggy. <laughs> I might be my daughter. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, someone was coming along today. Anyway, so let's um, get back to this. Sorry about that. I didn't want to turn it off because I can't join it. I don't know how to join it. Don't want to. It seems when I get out of here though, I had to have me lunch, and then you know you just don't feel like getting back to whatever it was I was doing. We must have the door locked, and she couldn't get in. That was a problem. Right now, what am I going to make? I want to make a thing to put this in, and that's too big because it won't fit in anything, will it? And a small envelope. I want. Yeah, I'll have a small envelope. Okay, I can get that girl to come and do things for me sometimes, right? This is my daughter. If I wanted to come at a certain time, she don't want to do that. She wants to come when she's... <laughs> you know what I mean? It wouldn't matter if she wasn't doing anything. She wants to make the time to that. <laughs> it does stress me out a bit because... Oh, well, I suppose I shouldn't be. <laughs> I shouldn't be like that, should I? Okay, so what am I going to use for this? 
See, I could have said, can you come later because I'm doing a video, but I won't be able to talk to her now because she's going to come when, you know, I suppose it's okay. It's not like she's not been reimbursed for it pretty good. So anyway, I need an envelope, people. I do need an envelope. I have a box of them. Where's my envelopes? I must have left them out there. I left them out there in the other room. Aren't I good at this? Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit giant, that one. Okay, sorry for fiddling about here. I'll get myself sorted any minute now, I promise you. Now, this will work. I think I can do it with this. Righto. And where's my envelope maker in here? Is it? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'd really like to take the, the camera off the stand and try to, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I won't. To show you what I've got here, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you. It's gotta be in here somewhere. <laughs> it's a really big thing, isn't it, me envelope maker? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. But see, I suppose now if you haven't got one, we've got to work out how to make it without, don't we? Right? And we've done it many times before. We have. I must have took that out to the left room. Must be. Radio. Let me see. Is it in here? No. Don't think so. It's not one of them things that just have a mouth that bite me, is it? Wait a minute. No, that's not. It's not in here. Okay. Let's get onto this. We'll make an envelope. Okay. <sighs> Do you think I can? Um, got that bit, that bit, that bit there, so it hasn't fold up that way. Nice bird on there, doesn't matter if you can't see, doesn't matter if you can't see it. This has got to look like an envelope, it doesn't, I don't want it to look like, um, you know, just fold it over. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be an actual envelope. <laughs> I might change my mind and make something else to show you how to do because if this is done, it'll be stressful for us all, is it? I have a box of envelopes, but they're not in here, of course not. It's just too easy, isn't it? Sorry about this. You see all my fat arms there? What about that? Actually, I've got it. I've got one that I'm going to use for model. No, I'm going to use. Am I going to redo this? I suppose I should. Here's a piece of paper that I had earlier. Yes, that'll fit. So I need this size, don't I? But that's not big enough to do it with. So if you have one, you'll be right. Otherwise. And I don't think I like it too this big. I just don't think I like it this big. So, what I'm going to do is make it smaller. By how? Go over to the middle of the envelope. Right? I have done this before. Not for a really long time, but I have done this before. So, I've, I've made, a, I've made a, a thing down the centre, right? Now, I need me... I need me ruler thing. It's here somewhere, isn't it, people? We had it earlier. <laughs> ah, here it is. Right. So what you need to do is get your, there's your center there's your center bit. I'm gonna draw a line so you can see this. Okay. If I, see, if I can see the line, I'll draw you a line where it goes. Okay. Right -o. Now I'm gonna take it over. This far here, two two of those things, which is a centim, it's half. No, it's a centimeter. Wait a minute, we've got to get this in line now. Line that up with that, and that'll be straight. So you need straight. Okay, so go over here and go a centimeter this way. Turn it over, <coughs> do the same thing this way. This was probably worth waiting for just for the luck because it's going to get if it doesn't work. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. 
Okay. That way. Send it this way. Right. Now, I don't know if I want to. <coughs> I'm going to fold these both up this way. All right. The two outside ones. Fold them towards you. I know. This other one here, in the middle, you want to fold it back out <coughs> this way. <laughs> so you can line that up by its two points, you know, by that point there. And you can't see, oh, well, oh yes you can, and that point there. There's this little flower on my screen, it's in my way. So that point there and that point there, okay. And you press that so that you can pinch that out of there. Okay. And that back like that. Hopefully we should be we should be right with this, you know, but we have we have overstepped the mark on a bit here. We've made a bit skew with. It's a bit skew with this part. We'll have to unskew with that. <coughs> Oops, we went See how I've made two, go too far one side and not the other. I think it'd be easier to take it in smaller. I want to take it in smaller than, than make it bigger. So I'm going to take that in there smaller. You think I was making a paper plane, wouldn't you, or something? Yeah, we take that in there smaller like that. And there. And there, and there, and there. Right. So we've got that, that, and we would... People might make this a little bit straighter than mine, okay? So, so you've taken out that much out of your envelope that way, okay? <clears throat> and then you're going to do the same thing this way. You want to fold it over in the centre line that way. You need to fold this back this way, okay? And this way. Mind you, if you scanned it into your scanner, <laughs> you can probably just make it smaller, but God, if you, Sonia's got to be different, doesn't she? You might not have a scanner. You might not. So that's that side. And then you've got to take this side back here like that, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All the things we do to get a small envelope. <laughs> if you can't find one, you have to do that, don't you? So, that, well, that side's gone out there like that, hasn't it? Right, yeah. So, now look. If we make it... Look at that. <laughs> ah, there. I surprised myself. Believe you me. I do. So, I'm going to cut that off there. <coughs> Whoops. I'm too, too carried away now, girl. Cut this off here. Cut this off here. When I started crafting many, many years ago, we never had access to anything like, you know, that you can do now. The things on the computer and that. I made heaps of stuff that I had to make it. Look at that. I've made an envelope, people. A smaller envelope than the envelope I had. Now, you can stick that down with some sticky tape. I might do that because I want to, I want to cut out the shape now. I'm going to use that as my template to cut out the shape for it. <clears throat> I was in here the other night wrapping up my husband's birthday present and couldn't find the sticky tape so I used masking tape and when I got up there's the sticky tape sitting behind me now I've got it here on the table too and I want to see if I can stick this down I suppose I could have used a bit of glue it might have been a quicker thing by the seams of thing I might glue that <laughs> the sticky tape's making fun of me there doing stupid things I just why don't you just have to do this down one piece? Just to hold it down so I can I'm sure it doesn't need. Oh dear. Now there's a pattern from the envelope. And oh look at that. It will fit there, see? It fits there just nicely. Okie dokie. So all I'm gonna do now is trace around here.
it might not have the really big dints and things in it, you know, like I'm going to use that for a straight line. Um, but you can know which way it works, don't you? This pointy bit that way and this bit that way. I'm a bit rough for this job. Yeah. It goes there. And the, oops, better to put this bit around here. Now, I'm going to cut it out and then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Then I'll cut it out. Let me see. I'm going to put these big scissors to work, don't I? And go around here and down along there straight and then scoop you do in this bit. Scoop you do out that way. I don't know what this bit's supposed to be like, but anyway, I'm going to catch up with it on this other piece and I'm finished. This has only turned out skew with a bit because I'm using the smallest piece of paper I can find. Okay, so you're going to have to just um, use your own imagination <laughs> to figure out where this goes. That was like that, wasn't it? No, it was like that. Yep, my go. So I'm going to, uh, then this has got to be the worst envelope job you've ever seen, isn't it? But I'll fix it when I use me, use me folds. See, I'm going to use me folds by putting that on there and folding it over like that. And you've seen me do this before when I copied an envelope. I didn't actually scale it down to fit here. So now I've got something that looks a bit like an envelope. So I'm going to make these corners a bit rounder here. Oh, these scissors are not good. Too, too big. But they're the first ones I pick up when I do them. You know, it's just how, how it is. And that bit's that way, that bit's that way, and that bit's that way. And we might have to have a little scoop to do bit, bit out here. You know, just to make it look a bit envelope-ish. I suppose you're waiting for the outcome of this. Now you would take all that ink off it, you know, where you've got your pencil ink. You have to take all that off there, line it up nicely. <clears throat> but we've made a smaller envelope from the biggest envelope, okay? From the bigger envelope. And that bit's not catching up to itself nice there at all, is it? It's not going to be. Good if it's got a bit of gap in it. Yeah, I haven't turned this over far enough. This bit, that's what my trouble was. I haven't turned this over far enough. There we go. Oh, yeah, that goes under there, that goes over there. I'll take that off there. I didn't do it. That I didn't do justice taking that off, but anyway, um, I'm going to fold this down a bit further because it's not quite down to the. These pieces didn't come over very far enough, I don't think. These side bits, I didn't fold them over properly. You know what my trouble was? I shouldn't have put the the other envelope under on top of it. I should have had it underneath it, like under there, when I folded it over instead of in. You know. Instead of having it in there, because that made it bulky and go further out, I should have put it like this, and then that would have brought that over a bit better, okay? So I hope that's, uh, you know, understandable. Can you understand that? And that way it will go a bit better, okay? And I've now got a, now got a crease in that part there that I'm not liking. But I might not use this bloke. I just want to show you how, well, I didn't start out to show you how. I just couldn't find one. Good idea to put in there. But now, when you've got your envelope, we're not going to actually um, stick it down. We're not. Because we're going to put paper in there that we can write on. Okay. <clears throat> Mind you, you may, you do it up really pretty, your paper. Move it over a bit. Okay. You can make your paper different colours, make your envelope different too if you want to. I'm just doing you the bare bones. Okay, I'll probably cut, pull that off there too close to the edge because I can't do a corner bit now. I don't have the, 
And this is going to go in here like that. Actually, I didn't. I will use this envelope in something. I know I will because it'll be fine when I finish fiddling with it. You just have to be a little bit, um, you know, a bit more work on this good. I don't have it a rounded corner on that, but we're not going to be upset by that. So we're going to turn this up here, like so. Didn't put that in the middle very good, Sonia. Goodness gracious me, girl. <laughs> we're going to move that over. Put it in the centre there, between. Right, that's better, I think. Yeah, and then we can turn that up there like that. And we can turn this down in a different level, and same with that bit. Because it doesn't really matter which, how you put it in there. But then when you want something to write on and you have a little secret compartment there, see? Look at that. Now I might put some sort of decoration on there so I don't have that line sticking out because that's upset me now. I didn't do too bad a job with this envelope, I didn't think. This is another thing we can put in our journal anyway, one of the books that we're working on, isn't it? But we need to fix it too. See how that's wonky, wonky, wonky? So to get those to be exactly, don't bend this, just fold it over, don't bend it, just fold that over as well and get your, oh the little scissors would be good if I could find something, these are a bit smaller I think, not much but they are a bit. So I want to go up here, I'm not, I'm not creasing it, I can cut that down there so it's the same size, okay, maybe not yet, I mean, let's see how that went. That's not bad, is it? And then we just either make this rounded or straight across. Straight across might be good. Here we go. Might do this the same here. Make it straight across. But there's your envelope. And you've got your... Now, Guy Kerr did this. She didn't, <laughs> she didn't do what I did. <laughs> She made her little envelope by tracing an envelope, and I think I've done that before. And then she um, put the paper in there and that in it, and hers is decorated really nice and everything. But of course, I haven't got time now to do that because I've been fidgeting about with it. But I turned this bigger size one into that size, and if you don't want it to, you wouldn't sort of be able to use it again because too many bends and folds and things in it. But I thought that that was really neat because I know I had to do that once before a few times. When I say once before a few times, I've done it before, okay? So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a good day. And I hope I answered the questions that people asked me this morning. I, I might um, have to take a writing pad out there and write down things that people want to know about, okay? And I will talk to you later on. So thank you everybody and thank you for my new subbies and for your comments and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want to be here to watch more of these videos, just click on the bell. And then it will tell you when I'm coming back on again. Alright, so thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.